Okay, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Well, hello there, everybody. We are gonna go over in this video on why is it that adventure gear is so expensive. I have here the first gear Rover Air Pant we'll go over. I also have the Adventure Air Mesh Jacket from First Gear. This is the stuff that I wore in the High Sierra Diaries Lake Tahoe uh, videos. And it's actually my first set of gear that's uh, adventure gear, adventure gear. So in this video, let's go over it. With these jackets, there's a lot to them. And this again is the ADV air jacket, the mesh jacket. And I guess they made this more for when you wanna be cooler. Uh, they have some mesh panels right in here. And we'll go over each one of these things. So um, they call this a poly mesh outer shell. Okay, so air can come in through here. Um, has a microfiber lining collar, which is really comfortable. Okay, it has adjustable elbow straps to make that, you know, you guys have big muscles, you guys can tighten those up. Uh, reflective accents on the gear for when you're on the road, people could see you. Uh, mobile inspired straps. Now, I didn't really see this on the first uh, couple videos that I wore this jacket until I saw them and I'm like, well, I could kind of like maybe put a GPS responder there, a spot, um, you know, something, anything that can clip right here is, is, you know, it's up to you. Um, it does have uh, elbow guards in here. It does have elbow patches in here. It's like a, I don't know, almost like a memory foam type material. Again, there's uh, cargo straps on the shoulders, which is kind of cool. Um, and then here we got, you know, adjustable sleeves, but let's, let's go into why these things, you know, what I, I think they are is basically army, uh, you know, Swiss army knife jackets or uh, what they turn into and then what they turn back into, I should say. So let's open this up here. The first thing we got going on here is what we'll call, this is called a, like a thermal layer. Okay. So as you can see, this is like for when it's cold, okay? So you wear this when it's cold and you have, uh, you know, basically three layers in here, but this is like your thermal layer, all right? Inside pockets on both sides. And let's say it starts to warm up, okay? Well, your next uh, layer is going to be, this is like your rain layer, okay? So you have uh, your, you know, your thermal layer and then a rain layer, okay? And then finally the outer shell. So each one of these layers has pockets inside and outside and they zip to get, they zip into the uh, outer shell here. I, <laughs> to be honest, I wore this thing fully with all three layers in it and within 10, 15 minutes, I, I took the thermal layer out. It was just way too hot. And then eventually I took out, uh, after a day and a half of riding, I took this out as well. These two, you can just take out and wear when you get to the hotel and you want to walk around town, you can wear these on their own as well. You know, that's waterproof right there. So you can wear that. Here's some outside pockets. Okay adjustable waistline so you can like tighten it up if it's a little uh, loose on you. But basically, uh, those are the pockets, you know, like inside, outside, okay? And let me show you my favorite pocket. This one right here is my favorite, see that? And what you do is, I was putting my controllers in there uh, my cameras, stuff like that. Um, and then I could just reach around my back and then grab, you know, what I need out of there. I really love this jacket. And again, I can't really tell you, you know, compared to other jackets or brands because this is my first one and I loved it. 
It was heavy, it was warm, and it was cool when I needed it to be cool. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go over is the Rover Air Pant. Now, I don't know why they didn't call it the, just match it with the jacket. Maybe there's, these pants go with other jackets. I don't know, that's just me. But, uh, I wanted to show you, this is the thermal, uh, it has three layers just like the jacket. And then this is what the thermal insides look. So again, you're gonna wear this when it's really cold. Maybe some, I don't know so much about snow. I don't think it's, I, I would say 30 degrees. Cause up in Tahoe, when I was wearing this early in the morning, it was good. But I would say below 30, you might want to get a warmer pant. Okay, so that's, that's on the inside of it. And then this is like the rain. It's kind of like a windbreaker material, waterproof, goes on the, uh, the next layer. Now with the pants, it has this, side leg vent that'll vent your legs here's the outer shell and if you zip these down you can get all the way down to your legs and really get ventilation in there so that was kind of really cool when it got really hot so here's the three layers you know all together kind of what all go into that pockets on the the rover pant uh, i like these these were just above the knee i stuck my cell phone in there uh, side pockets as usual i stuck my wallet in there keys and then the same thing on the other side um, pretty good knee pad knee protection a memory foam type padding in the knees and elbows on the jacket you know these things uh i could leave the website and the information of where i got these but this is pretty much why adventure gear is so high in price because a lot goes into it a lot goes into you know making sure a rider that's going to cross different climates and regions uh, he can adjust his gear to make all that happen you know or make his make him comfortable so anyways leave your comments below let me know if you guys have heard of first gear and their stuff but uh, i love the stuff and this is what me and hacienda gabe rode um i think he had the same style but just in the color gray and uh, we really enjoyed this stuff well that does it if you guys are new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because most of this channel is going on adventures and I want you guys to come with me. And let me know your comments below on what gear you guys run or maybe questions about this gear. And I'll get to those later.